Zdravo svima, my name is Mablu and today we're going to talk about series in Serbian. I think about a year ago I made a video on Serbian movies and series but then I got some complaints because these movies or series were quite old and I understand that but I kind of had to mention them because they are classics. In this video I'm going to talk about a modern or fairly recent series that you might be interested in. I will call them Serbian series, but mind you, there's going to be different variations of the language in some of them. That's just a normal thing. We are on the Balkan Peninsula and we are colorful people and we mix and we match and you're going to hear it all. I'm also going to provide sources so you, where you can actually find these series. But for example, I'm in Germany currently and I'm not allowed to stream videos. I'm not allowed to download videos. So some of them that I offer are offered on Amazon Prime where you can buy them, rent them, but some of them are also on YouTube so they're available to everyone. The only thing is that I'm not quite sure if they have subtitles at all so you're gonna have to check that out, but if you're in a country where you can get away with streaming or downloading <laughs> movies, maybe that's an option for you. I'm not telling you to do that but you can do it if you want and then if you end up downloading then you can easily find subtitles. That's something that um, I used to do 10 years ago when I was in Serbia. Also as a side note I haven't watched all of them actually most of them so they're also gonna be my homework and I'm really looking forward to it so what are you gonna do during lockdown but watch series and movies? Come on. Also, these series are in no particular order. They're not ordered by years of or preference. So they're just randomly mixed. So choose the one that fits you best. The first series is called Žene sa Dedinja. The translation is Women from Dedinje. And basically the story is, is there are new neighbors coming in to a neighborhood uh, in Belgrade, which is called Dedinje. And Dedinje is also known as the urban part and one of the most wealthiest part of Belgrade. And you follow four women, wives, that are completely different. And basically there's a lot of drama, scandal, affairs, murder, at least attempted murder, just overall chaos that will keep you on your toes. So if you're into something dramatic like that, kind of like a telenovela, then um, this is the series for you. There are three seasons and you can find them on YouTube. The second telenovela is called Taina Vinovelose, which means Secret of the Grapevine. I think that's how you would translate it. This one is a new series, I think. I think it's just being premiered in Serbia and it talks about two families that have uh, businesses with wine production and of course they're keeping secrets and there's a lot of deceit and lies and love and money and wine of course and at the end their stories become intertwined or their destinies become intertwined and because this is a new series i think you cannot really watch it anywhere um, maybe you can stream it somewhere or download but i couldn't find anywhere you, where you can buy it you can watch it from serbia for example and i don't think it's on youtube because What's the point of TV then? The third one is Senke nad Balkanom. It's basically translated as Balkan Shadows or as you can find it on Amazon Prime, Black Sun. And it's a crime TV series. The story is set during the kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes and it's like late 1920s and it follows the story of two police inspectors and there are three seasons envisioned so it's yet to be filmed or published as far as i know but one thing that i have to tell about it is that there's amazing acting scenes costumes editing it's just i think it's one of the best filmed series that i've seen in Serbia. The fourth series is Šešir Profesora Koste Vujića, Professor Kosta Vujić's Head. And it's a story written by Milovan Vitezovic. He also wrote Montevideo Boktevideo. There is a movie, actually two movies as far as I know, and also there is a series about Montevideo Boktevideo. So check that one out as well. I'm not putting it on the list though. And the story is basically that Professor Kosta Vujić is a very talented professor and he's teaching in a grammar school or a gymnasium and um, he's teaching very, very smart people who are later going to become very important scientific and historical figures in Serbia and some of them include and I will read it because I can't remember all of the names. 
Mihailo Mika Alas Petrovic, Serbian mathematician and inventor, Stevan Stojanovic Mokranjac, composer and music educator, um, Jovan Cvić, scientist, geographer, ethnologist, Milovan Mitrovic, um, poem writer, Jakov Jasha Prodanovic, politician and writer, and you can find this series on YouTube, so it is for free. The fifth one is Miris Kiše na Balkanu, The Scent of Rain in the Balkans. <laughs> it's a novel by Gordana Kuić and it talks about a Jewish family in Sarajevo. So this is where you're gonna hear variations of the language in our area. <laughs> and it covers the period, turbulent period from the beginning of the First World War till the end of the Second World War. The family has five daughters and one son, at least in the series. There's also a book and I think there's five daughters and two sons. So there are slight differences from like between the series and the novel. It was filmed in Belgrade, Sarajevo, Dubrovnik. So I really love that it was filmed on several locations. I think you can actually stream it on, I found it on some websites. I don't know if you can buy it and there's nothing on Amazon Prime. So um, you're gonna have to check that out on your own, what's available to you in the country where you live in. And there are supposed to be two seasons, but I think only one was aired. So um, that's also something that we need to check out. The sixth series was actually a suggestion by someone on Instagram, and it's called Jutro će promeniti sve, which means the morning will change or morning changes everything. And I really like the plot because it talks about current situation in Serbia and it talks about a guy who studied at Berkeley and he's going back home just to visit he stays a bit longer and he and his friends get together kind of revive the the friendship and group that they had before it talks about struggles as a 30 year old in Serbia. You just finished education, trying to find a stable job. You are still living with your parents. Um, there's just a lot of insecurities and uncertainties. And I think that many people will relate. I definitely relate to this story. So yeah, you can find it on YouTube for free. And again, I don't know if there are subtitles, but check it out. Series number seven is Trni Gruja or Black Gruja, and it's very much inspired by the series, British series Blackheader. Is that how you're pronouncing? I'm not quite sure. Um, and it's a humorous account of Serbian history, and it talks about the Serbian uprising against the Ottomans, and about one, who is he? It's a corrupt local chieftain who is trying to find, struggle to find a better life. And uh, yeah, it's very funny. It presents historical figures like um, Kara Georgi, Vuk Karadžić, who else? Miloš Obrenović, and there's also a movie called Black Gruja and the Stone of Wisdom, and there are two seasons as far as I know. And of course, as almost anything here, you can find it on YouTube. The eighth series is called Schwindleri, which basically means frauds and it's a fairly new series so i think it's still being aired so i think it's going to be difficult for you to try to find it if you can that that's great uh, and it talks about the period between the two world wars and there is a there is an event where someone wins the lottery in a small place called palanka and two frauds who are from that place are trying to see and figure out who that person is and how they can get a part of the money at least oh yeah and it's based on a comic by miro Ljubobra Milutinovic. The ninth series is Vojna Akademija, the military academy, and it tells the story of young cadets just entering the academy and their life over there, how their families accept that, are they supportive or not, how they balance between love and career, and it's one of the most popular series in Serbia, I think, and it has five seasons, and apparently you can find it on YouTube. And the 10th series, and I'm gonna mention several of them, although I will talk about one in particular. These are series based on the novels by Miriam, and she is one of our most famous writers. She They compared her to Jane Austen, so she's Serbian Jane Austen, and you already know what to expect. These are love stories. Some of them are with a happy ending, some not. All of these series can be found on YouTube, so they are Ranjeni Oreo, Nepovedivo Srce, Grehnjene Majke, Jedne Letnje Noći, Sama Cubraku, and actually that's the one that I want to talk about. It's 
favorite Samba Tobracco, one of my most favorite ones. The plot is about two young people. One is a young successful lawyer and he's interested in this one girl that he met in Belgrade. The girl is not really into him, but they decide to get married, he because he's in love and she because out of in it. I don't want to explain a lot, but I think you should watch it. And if you like that style of series, then you will enjoy all of these series. Sama Tobraku means alone in the marriage. I forgot to say that. That's it. That's my list. I actually have some more series to recommend you, but I didn't want to. Here I wanted to kind of restrict it to 10 and then maybe in one of the next videos I will talk about some other ones. Also give me your suggestions. I would love to know about more series. I would like to watch more series in Serbian or from that area. It doesn't have to be necessarily from Serbia, but if it's something very interesting and, and just a good story, then uh, I'm into it. Why not? Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Positive. Thank you. Focus on me. I'm gonna put this in the, in the video so that they know what I'm dealing with. Nasty. Nasty, bougie, close the door, baby. Because I'm a savage. Thank you.